Hey, what's up, going on, you guys? It's Triple Play Negative AE, and welcome back to Loop Hero. I know that it looks like I did a little bit of mining off camera. I definitely did, but uh, let me tell you when this all came from just like one run. I, I had a, a two hour and 30 minute run that allowed me to get the lumberjack, the river, and the bridge, uh, and a couple mud huts, actually. It was like, I was like, let's, let's build some. Where are they? There they are. Let's build a couple mud huts so that way we can have more supply, so that way we can do more stuff this run, and hopefully we, we do some things. Now, I have a river now, and we're going to see necessarily what that uh, what that does. I I went into a test game just to see if like river desert would work, uh, and if you put a desert next to a river, it completely destroys your attack speed. Attack speed goes down massively. So we're going to take off desert. And I don't know what any of these other things do. So this is base HP. Um, part of me thinks like... Uh, river Meadow would be cool. Or River Forest. Uh, and then we can go... We could go Ancestral Crypt. With... Um, Rogue. I, I kind of ignored Ancestral Crypt for a little bit, just because we lost the one that we... We did. I'm a little nervous about giving up uh, Magic Armor, but I think we'll be okay. I also think that this is maybe a little bit better. Let's take away Bookery and then just go with this. We don't really need the Vampire Mansion here. Uh, Spider might be a little frustrating. We could go that though. I mean, but then we don't have a lot of enemies to fight. I, I do want a lot of enemies, and right now spiders are the only way, really, to have easily defeatable enemies that spawn. So we're gonna try. And I say easily defeatable. The spiders are, are tough sometimes. Okay, so we're we're doing this. Hopefully, we get this done. Um, I have a lot of new stuff, so it, it'll be interesting. I'm hoping that my new stuff is good. Uh, we have a lot more stuff equipped, like a lot more supply equipped than we had before. I think we had like three less items in our supply. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty prepared, I think. Uh, now I don't know what the boss does of this level. So hopefully he doesn't like my, th my theory. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think we're going to get into the boss fight and he's going to have an ox. And they're both going to be attacking at the same time. And they're both going to be equally strong and I'll have to kill both of them. And maybe they like bleed or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like hunter stuff. Like I think like... I don't know. Okay, so we have a river. It doubles the effect of adjacent tiles, which is nice. Great. Okay, so it doesn't change into an oasis, which is nice. Oasises are bad for us. And we'll place a skeleton thing there. Now we have to be careful on this level because there's skeleton archers. So we will space them out. Place another thicket there. Just have like a good river going. And we're going to have it go straight down. Hopefully we get enough forest to make some stuff happen. Okay, we have finally have this. That gives us a little bit more attack speed, which is what we're looking for. Some boots. This is these are just way better boots. Uh that just gives us defense. This is just better than that though, so we'll take that. Okay. And then we also want to be careful where we place our villages too, because we want to make sure that they're in between all the tough areas. So first, we have the campfire healing us there. So then after we come out of the spider thing, we're going to heal on the village there. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. More attack speed, the better. Uh, we'll just kind of do that. So rivers next to thickets will give us two and forests 
next to rivers will give us will give us four and then two. So it's almost like Um, I mean, I want as many forests as possible, I think. And we have to place this one there. Doing, like, like not bad to it for a start to the game, I feel like. I feel like we're getting kind of what we need. Not really a lot of useless stuff yet. I think that's always the hardest part is when you have just a bunch of useless cards in your deck. That's why I don't like vampire mansions very much is because like you eventually get to the point where you don't need vampire mansions anymore. They just pile up, which is why you might need a bookery. But um, I'm down. I'm placing them over here, by the way, because I would rather have thickets next to the river if I can help it. And I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have the river loop back around anyway, so... Perfect, okay, so. Crit damage chance, this is just better than the bottom one, so we will take it. Uh, that's just worse, this is better. This is better than that. Uh, 12 evasion is the same as what we have, but we will equip it either way. I think it's better to have high gear than it is to have low gear. I don't know. I don't know if it really matters. Okay, perfect. More attack speed is always nice. Right now the river really pulling through with us for attack speed. Uh, place that, oblivion what it becomes. And now we have a cool little healing village. We heal for, I think, like a hundred passing through there. Which is nice starting out. And we got something new. Uh, negative four damage from all vampires. And we forgot that we're going to have to oblivion that. Uh, forests are not very good for rogue because of this. But that's okay better okay I am curious as to what happens when you connect the river to the other side like if you connect it to like another area and there's nowhere else for the river to go can you place any more rivers or the river is just dead weight at that point I would rather thickets go next to it, but at this point, there's so much river that I'd rather just have anything next to it, you know? And then we can oblivion that, because we don't want that. Okay, we got five. This is amazing. Uh, we're getting some good stuff. We're getting some good stuff, actually. Uh, evasion is down, but we get more crit damage chance, which I am down for, actually. And then this is just better. Like, let's be real. Uh, and then we're good for now. And we don't have ma magic HP anymore, so we're completely relying on... Ooh, hoo, 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 you know what it is. It is what it is. We're ready, dude. It's time. Here comes the rat wolf. The legend of the rat wolf has appeared once more. Please don't kill me, actually. My health is getting a little sketchy. Not gonna lie. Okay, and then, um... Put a village, put a village in between the cemeteries. Thank you, Rat Wolf.
I'm gonna make this kind of like a spider alley. I like making spider alleys. Just have them, all the spiders in one spot, get through the spicy area, and then... There we go. And now we have a new quest. One is better than the other. That is that one. We will take it. Perfect. Okay, I believe we can place one more, and then we could place that there, but I think... Yeah. I believe that we want to rotate one and then go back up. Now, I don't know if the rivers stack. My guess is that they don't. But who knows? I think it would be cool if you could make a fork in the river and like fork your river other places. Now, I know that we can go through the road, which is interesting. So, if it's double doubled, I didn't even look at if it matters. So, what, what I need to look at is if I place another river down, does my attack speed go up? I don't know if it double doubles. We'll have to see. Hopefully, hopefully it does. Seven. I mean, we're equipping the seven. Um, attack speed sounds nice. Um, is it better than crit damage chance seven? Ah, uh, and thirty less health. I would say it's about even. I would say it's hard to differentiate between the two. I'm happy I'm getting tickets. I think if a, a thing spawns, we can place like an outpost by it. Well, actually, we might have to... We'll hold on. What's going to happen? If we place another that... We do not want to place another village because the thief abilities are insane. So we want to wait till we have at least one oblivion before we do that. And then be, for that, we can... For like forest warriors, we can just outpost the shit out of them. Okay, so what's my attack speed? Attack speed 66. Place this river down. Attack speed 70. So it does, it does stack. I think what it does is it just, it just adds the 2% to itself. No. Because it added four attack speed. Yeah. Wait. So four, four, four? Sounds a little crazy if that's how that works. Um, either way, we're going to make the river run back up. And then we will... Oh, no, we can't. We can't village it. We can't village it. We can forest it up, though. What is this? Worse. Uh, and then we'll place maybe one more skeleton camp there. I'd say we're doing, like... Right now, we're doing okay. What we're looking for is the next ability to be pretty good. Yeah, I'd say so. I love my uh, Rat Wolf. Our attack speed is already very high. Which is nice. And we have more rivers that we can place up. Which is great. Our attack speed is 97%. 
Now, I'm very curious as to what happens uh, later. I think we just place that there. We're really looking for thickets to place there. Like, if we can get, like, a good amount of thickets... Sure, I suppose. I think we're gonna keep the rest of our stuff there. Nice. One hit KO. No, I think we do get exhausted if we attack too fast. Uh, now that was brought up to me and to my attention. Uh, so my goal is that we just kill everything before we get exhausted. Right? Okay. Uh, resource cap. I I'm not, like, resource hunting right now. Uh, chance to keep the card or each building... Upon each building, hero gets eight times the loop experience. Still some stuff to build, that's for sure. But um, do I want to waste an ability on getting experience? I don't know. Uh... <sighs> None of these abilities are great. Um, this would help us get to the next level faster, but really that was it. That's it. Eight times the loop HP or XP is pretty great, actually. If we get to like loop eight, that's 64 building. Am I correct in thinking that? I mean, we're going to try it. I think that's okay. We've outposted the crap out of this guy down here, so I'm not too worried about what's going on down there. I was really just thinking about like, what's the most optimal way to place these villages here? Skeleton fight, heal, skeleton fight, heal, skeleton fight, heal, skeleton fight, heal, skeleton fight, or heal, heal, skeleton fight, heal, is what I'm thinking. Very good. See? No problem. Attack speed is very high. Great. It's exactly what we're looking for. We're looking to attack exactly that fast. And, like, I'm curious, like, if we get exhausted, is it, like, a percentage of our attack speed? Or is it, like, you just can't attack for a while? I think I've been exhausted at least once. But just being able to attack as fast as we're attacking, I think, is very helpful. Okay, we're, we're already at the next level, which is insane. Um, fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. I mean, I suppose smoke screen. Um, it like again, our abilities that we're getting not the best. Uh, evasion down, critical chance up. I like that better than what we have currently. It's just a, a lot more HP. Unfortunately, 
just a lot more HP. I say unfortunately because we lose out on all those stats. But, um... You get a lot of XP for this nonsense. I mean, this is very helpful. So I think what we do is we... Let's maybe outpost that. Yeah, we're not going to be getting a lot of good gear. But just in case... Okay, a little rough there. We we are exhausted, uh, but that's okay. Nice. Try and handle them as fast as possible. There's the rat wolf. Perfect. Let's get the attack speed up. I think we're like pretty good on attack speed, honestly. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going with our river. And just get to the point where we have Um a, a complete river and then see where we're going from there. We might want to do like forest meadow so we can continue placing things. And then go with like a bookery later on. Cause right now it seems a little uh, crazy. We do want to outpost that up there. Actually, you know what we might do? Is just remove it. We'll keep this one down here because it's outposted. We might even get rid of it because of how crazy that shit is. So now we can't place any more river. Okay, so you can only have one river. We leveled up, great. Wow, our, uh, our upgrades are terrible. Um, F, me. Um... 10% chance to randomly attack. I don't think we want any more attack speed. I think we're very good on attack speed. Probably want to get rid of that. Because we don't want another one. I mean, we're good on attack speed, but we want... I guess the faster we get exhausted, the better. And hear me out. Actually, no. No, not, not necessarily. I was going to say the faster we get, because like, if we attack like, like really fast, we get rid of a bunch of enemies. And then we're exhausted. But we're, we've already gotten rid of all the enemies that we need to get rid of because of how fast we're attacking. But what I didn't take into account is that your exhaustedness recharges, right? So, like, probably pretty bad. Uh, this is better and increases our attack speed. Yeah, sure, I guess. Better than that. Better than that. Damage to all is very good, actually. I should be thinking about damage to all. Evasion up 31%. Yes, please. I should be thinking about damage to all pretty much always. And this is better than something. So we will take it and it's damaged all, so. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. We can place a bunch of spider nests though. We're getting 64 every time we play something. Do you, does your exhausted meter get recharged? Sweet. 
Smoke bomb helps a lot. I feel like with our current build. Let's just uh. I feel like we want to build a little bit. We can't river up. Because the more that we build, the more experience we get. We can't really build too much right now because all of our shit is maxed out. Could build an outpost. Build it here where I'm going to place the villages so I don't lose a bunch of rare items. Our evasion is nice, so I'm going to keep our evasion where it is. Nice. Damage to all. Really coming through with us for us? We have a good amount of damage. Like a very good amount of damage. Nice. Even with the ability where you respawn, my attack speed is so fast that it's like, I don't know what you're going to do. Now for the boss, it might be a little rough. Can't really place a whole lot. Like it's given us a lot of forests. Like a bookery would have been really good here. Uh, but we did not go bookery. We have damage to all. Um, I do not want more attack speed over damage to all. Evasion 36%. We want that. Nothing really else. This kind of catches my eye, but the damage to all is so good that it's like, I'd rather have the damage to all. Just because when we fight things like this, we have kind of like a chance. That way we don't have to attack everything all at once. We can just use our attack speed to attack every enemy on screen. This is my uh, theory, at least. So we are going to build the outpost when we can. Just because they're giving us XP every time. And I think it's better to have abilities than it is to have... Anything else? Our lifesteal is really coming through for us, too. Like we're gaining like nine every time we don't take damage in a battle. That was a rough battle. Okay, we're gonna outpost some things. We're gonna oblivion some things. Actually, are we? Now we're going to place a village here. Maybe a cemetery there. Place another outpost there. We want to place the outpost. They give us a ton of XP. So does uh, forest. So do forests. We could technically place more forests, but it's like... How fast do we want to attack? And, um, I mean, I, I just want the XP. That's a no. I want the XP for summoning the forest. I don't necessarily want the attack speed for summoning the forest, but... There we go. Now we have some good stuff, dude. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do this. Actually, does it... Are we healing enough to even warrant this? I feel like taking 7% less damage starting after the second enemy is nice because of all the spiders that we're fighting. Um, but do we, like, are we going to get to the point where... Let's go ahead and do this because we have a lot of healing late, late, later on, like, in here. I think we maybe want to place, like, a village, like, here. We'll 
Lots of abilities, though. Like this, uh... This kind of sentiment that every time I build a building it gives me a bunch of XP is pretty nice. Like, those are two levels I didn't think were ever going to happen. Place one there, because it's not going to do anything. Less damage to all. Critical damage. Uh, really high stuff. Uh, that is just better evasion. By just a little bit. That's good, but it does not critical chance. If it was critical chance, I'd be more inclined to take that. Um, we lose damage to all if we equip that, which is a little worrying to me. It is a lot more health. But it doesn't matter because Ancestral is taking away the HP of the thing anyway, so... We're really just gaining HP from our ability. So literally we shouldn't even worry about health, we just worry about stats. Don't even worry about the HP on the armor. It's taking it away. So we can get a revive, which we haven't used yet. We're just gonna keep building because every time we build we get 8 times, so we get 80 per building. Uh, might even want to like... Place more shit down. We're doing nice. This is good. We're, we're not necessarily healing very well. We do want to make sure that we can... That is worse healing. Or worse evasion, I mean. We're looking for damage to all. Just because of the rate at which we are attacking. We're also looking to place this village, but we're looking for an Oblivion first. Okay. We're looking for like a village over here. So what I want to do is like put a village over there. But I need an oblivion before I do that. There it is. I'll place a village like right here. That's like dead center. Uh, damage to all lower. Critical damage chance plus 11%. I mean, eventually we're going to have to get rid of some. Then damage to all 7. That's nice. Okay. Get a little damage to all back even if we lose it. Create damage chance. It's, they're not as good. Uh, we lose a little bit of damage to all. We gained a little bit here. Our damage to all is what? 22, we would lose uh, 8, we would lose 8. Uh, for counter and crit damage chance. You know what? I mean, we need better armor anyway, so. 
we're gonna be here for a little bit. We're gonna want to place some villages down there. Now we have a good like way of healing throughout this. Okay, we got some outposts, some spider cocoons. Spider cocoon, let's place somewhere where we're gonna not care. Uh, where do we not care? Uh, we do not care here. Uh, and then we can place an outpost there. Just place outposts all over the place because they give us XP and we want as much XP as possible. Like if we can get to the next level, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, another spider cocoon. Where do we not care? Here. Uh, another outpost. Where do we not care? Probably right there. We're not getting like orange gear anymore, but it's uh, it's it's definitely giving us a ton of XP. Like I said, I feel like ex or, uh, things are better than skills are better than items. I think. Okay, we got another cemetery placement, which we can definitely do. Place it right there. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Just we need to. We're going a little fast because of how f fast our attack speed is. It's just insane. I don't want to place any more of these forests. I know it would get me to the boss maybe a little bit faster. Actually, you know what? Maybe I do. It's just like hard to place forests because like I know that I'm already like way over what I'm. Like my my attack speed limits, like I'm like I'm barely getting away with how fast my attack speed is right now, just because of how high our damage is. Um, we're going to want to put this somewhere, like there. It's fine. This is spider archer. We're gonna build a cocoon somewhere, probably right here means nothing there because there's going to be no point. Man, a bookery would have been like real helpful. Like very helpful. We do not have one, but that's okay. Got an oblivion. Is there anything we want to get rid of? Not really. 16. Better than both of our things. I will take it there. Uh, evasion. Uh, wait a second. Hold on. Uh, magic. Magic HP doesn't matter. We have damage bonus, critical damage chance we want to keep. Evasion up. Magic damage up. I think we take that. Uh, 16 damage to all 14 we might just uh, say no to the evasion bonus on the sword get damaged all 14 our damage to all is now 32 uh, meaning that we're insane and we're saving the oblivion for if we get another village I would like to place another village it's spider's nest not a big deal we're gonna place the spider's nest uh, up here, it's not going to do anything up there. Okay, village. We got another village and an oblivion, which is nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and village there, which we'll do that, which we have the oblivion for. Perfectly fine. Doing well. We have another village. Do we want to place it? Not really. Where where would we place a village? Good question. I think we place the village here. Okay. I want to place more stuff. Okay, we can place spider cocoons. Spider cocoons, no sweat, dude. We'll place a bunch of them. 
play some more thickets because we want the XP. Okay, we do not have anything to get rid of that, which is scary, but we hopefully will. Uh, time flies a little bit faster, sounds a little death sentence-y. Uh, supplies, I think I'm gonna do fight against three or more enemies earns me a different, uh, another trophy. It'll give us a little bit more max HP in a game where we don't have a lot of max HP because we took the Ancestral Crypt, which we still have the Resurrection Charge, by the way. Just gotta remember that. We have a lot of outposts helping us out in case we get rid we have no stamina left. Like we take out a lot of enemies on our first sweep. But uh, anything that's left over we get taken care of. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet so far. We are looking to summon the boss. I mean, it's been a, it's like we've been on this loop forever. I would almost like crit damage chance more than I would like attack speed. Defense is great, but whatever. This isn't really giving us that much more. What is this? Crit damage chance, attack speed plus 24. Okay, yeah, so let's do this and then we'll do this. What is this? Uh, damaged all 13? I think probably. I think probably we'd rather that. Critical damage is equal and critical damage is up. I will take it. Uh, hey, lots of damage to all. Damage to all 49? Nice. Very happy with that. Okay, no, no one's helping us in this fight, which is a little scary. Okay, there we go. Getting a lot of getting a lot of things. Okay, we have villages we can place. I suggest that we place or no outposts. We want to place some outposts, especially right here, where is this guy? He's probably the most scary right now. Uh, if we place a village there, it'll shut down that quest, which is what I do not want. I think if I place another village, a uh, thing spawns. So we're gonna wait. Do not want a thing to spawn. Okay, Oblivion. That means we can place another village. Where is, uh, there it is. Okay, uh, not bad. Cemetery, we have another one. We place it here. It's gonna be a little scary of an area, but that's okay. We got a little bit of a healing road over there. Then we got the spider's nest there. We're really looking to summon this boss pretty soon. I just want to see what he does. Even if we get to the boss, we completely like, like flub it. I think we really need, we need to place more things, but like we're not getting enough, like anything except for rivers, we're not getting it. Like we're getting a lot of river. Like if if anything's very clear here, it's that there's a lot of uh, river stuff. We're just gonna place all of our attack speed forest in hopes that we summon the boss. Like we really want to summon the boss.
We really, really, really want to summon the boss. That's okay. I don't know where it spawned, but that's okay. Got another thicket. We're just gonna keep spawning them until that goes up. It spawned there. Which is right after some healing, so hopefully it's not too big of a deal. I don't know what that noise was. Okay, we did not summon the boss in time for this. Damage to all is down on both things, but this is better on the bottom. We lose our critical chance. I don't know how I feel about that. This would give us more attack speed. Don't know how I feel about that. Damage to all up on both. And gives us magic damage. Just better than the blue. Uh, boots up evasion. Up magic damage. Lose our damage to all, but that's okay. We have a lot of damage to all. And then this armor has up damage to all and up attack speed, which I do not care for. <laughs> I would like to keep my attack speed exactly where it is. Do not want to change my attack speed at all. I'm really hoping for, like, more forests. Okay, no one's joining me on this fight, which is a little scary. Okay, never mind, we did it. Damage to all coming through clutch. Okay, we got a cemetery. Place that there. Oblivion that guy. Uh, we got, what, a forest we can place down. Ooh, wow, that boss is still not summoned. We're on loop 14. Uh, that's okay. It's probably because we're getting a lot of rivers, to be entirely honest with you. There is a 33% chance for a crit, which is a pretty good chance considering how much that we are doing. Look at these freaking rivers, dude. Like, you really need to, like, have it run through the center of your map, otherwise you're just never going to stop placing rivers. Rivers are like the most abundant thing that you get in this game. Like I was like, oh, they're not going to appear that much. They're like every other card that will appear like never when I want it to. Look at this, dude. I know I'm placing some cards down. I can't place any rivers cards down, but it keeps giving me rivers. What the heck? This is the, like, what do you want me to do? Even if even if I were to fill the whole map with rivers, this would still be too many rivers. I should have like made it zigzag all the way through the entire map. I didn't realize it was going to be like a freaking smorkish board of rivers going forward with the whole level. I had no idea. If you would have told me that you would have too, way too many rivers, I don't know if I would have believed you. I'm like really looking for any any type of uh, relief here. I need like a um, oblivion for that village, but you know who knows? I might just get a full thing of rivers the entire time. Like, I'm scared to place that down, and then the boss isn't going to summon, and then... Okay, here we go. Okay. I just want to see what you do, dude. I just want to see what you do. Even if I die here, it's not a big deal, as long as we get the information. Right? I just want the information. This whole thing has been to gather information... On the guy, and we're gonna do it right here. I don't want any more attack speed. We're at 200% attack speed. We have two things there. Hopefully, we spawn the rat wolf on the boss fight. I don't know if it's available to spawn on the boss fight. Let's just place everything we have. Yeah, it's as much as we can place. 
I was hoping to maybe get another level before we, we do it. We're going to stay. We have enough to, to take all if we lose here. Uh, enough boss things. So I think we stay and we'll just take if we need to. Uh, did we get anything useful really? But this, I guess. What were the afterlife? But not really. Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, so hold on. What is this? Know your place, dog. Not the most polite greeting I've heard. Oh, excuse me, I wasn't talking to you. My loyal hounds like to fool around sometimes. Keeping discipline is important. Woof. And as for you, my little hero. Know your place, dog. Who the hell are you? Let's just see. Uh, sometimes the need arises to kill the whole herd in the pen, but not without a reason, of course. And as you start killing them, a couple of bulls break the fence and escape into the forest. But that won't do. You need to kill every one of them. That's the point, you know? That's where the hunter comes in. You will track down every rebellious bull and shoot it. So don't even try to talk to me about politeness, my little hero. Uh, wait. How polite is it of you to avoid world annihilation, but to resist the magnif this magnificent process. I've heard enough of this talk. I beg your pardon. All of you, all you've done is a uh, profound uh, motivation to participate in the cataclysm, and every one of you ignores the fact that we all want to keep living. It stinks to be exterminated, you know. Frankly speaking, I don't give a damn. I just enjoy hunting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will feed the remnants of your world to my hounds. They'll eat it all in one bite, as if their stomachs were black holes. I hope you're as bad. I hope you're as bad at hunting as you are at jokes. Never mind. You'll get my joke very soon. Get him. Woof. Okay. So, what am I thinking? Uh, I'm thinking that he's dead. Resurrect. Gotta kill his wolf, too. Kill his wolf, please. I'm thinking that I just one-shot him. I'm thinking that he just died. Oh, that was so much fun. What a shame. Cornered by my own target and killed. Tell me everything you know. There's no way. He has a final form. You don't really think this is the moment when I acknowledge your power and tell you all I know of sheer respect, do you? I'm dying here, you know. It's not a great time for revelations. And also, you killed my hounds, you bastard. You think I feel good about that? Don't confuse your motivation with mine. I hope you don't have this annoying habit of coming back to, the, to life unharmed, do you? Right now, right now, while I'm still dying, a new body has already been made for me in the heart of the greatest black hole. So yes, I will be back. Don't think everything is so simple. My hunt shall continue and there's no place in the universe where I couldn't track you down. You don't have to make things so complicated. I'm not going anywhere and I'm not going to hide. I feel better knowing that you're wasting your time fighting me instead of destroying other worlds. I hear the sound of, of a horn and barking of my loyal hounds. A new hunt begins. A new hunt. These guys are a real nuisance. They give me hope, though. They wouldn't waste their time on me if I wasn't a real threat to their goal. Dude, sick. That was the first time I ever fought him and we won. Look at this. Look at this. Um, once per battle, a hero does four hits with double the speed when health falls below 20%. Okay. 40% chance not to spend a healing potion on usage. Okay. Uh, hero has a 60% chance to reflect a rain shot at a random enemy. This. And we're going to go ahead and take off. That was a long enough episode as it is. Um, first try. First try. Uh, what happened? Why the shock face? Because it was nearly torn off. I don't know. Don't quite get how I, I've ended up victorious. There, there. I think you're underestimating yourself. No, I'm serious. That hunter, he had black holes as hounds. I think he, they can swallow whole planets. I think the hunter's weapon, uh, in the hunter's weapon, the stars went out behind me after every shot. With all that power, he could destroy an entire galaxy. And I'm sure he's already done so a few times. I don't understand why, how I could be a match to fight him. And I'm afraid I'm realizing it's true for both the Lich and the Priestess as well. Don't tell me this encounter has broken you. This place is, 
becoming better, you mustn't give up. What are you talking about? It's quite the opposite. I'm fully confident that we will succeed. It's not just a coincidence. I have the power to fight this evil, and I have a chance to beat it. Chance to beat it, huh? Guess the luck is on your side, huh? Okay, uh, now there's just this, which is crazy. I, this person looks crazy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. That was that took long enough as it is, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode, whenever that is. And uh, peace out, you guys.